you know, I always encourage people to download my videos, share my videos. I don't mind if you make money, like advertising, etc. That's not, not the problem for me. Are you scared? Are you in a bad mood? Are you uncomfortable? I've been waiting I've been hurting Cause I've been falling I need your help Okay, so I don't wanna mention who it is but I know some people attack me now. Why? Uh, uh, excuse me, it's me. It's me, Christian Prince. Uh, <clears throat> uh, why you don't want to mention who it is he? Uh, or is he, or he is, whatever you are saying. Uh, uh, Kim, I'm really shocked with your answer. I ask you, why your prophet killed Christians? What do you say to me? Scared? Are you in a bad mood? Are you scared? Are you in a bad mood? Are you scared? Are you in a bad mood? Are you uncomfortable? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. What's what's wrong with you? Are you scared? Obviously, you are the one who's terrified. Because you are terrified, you don't know what to say. Otherwise, why you are saying to me, are you scared? Are you admitting that Islam is scary? Oh, you remind me, your prophet, he said that I've been victorious by terror from a distance of one month. So you are admitting that this is who is your prophet. He is a terrorist. <clears throat> and you know that Islam is scary. So the first question come to your mind is, oh, are you scared? Are you uncomfortable? Are you worried? So you yourself, you admitted that because your prophet is a terrorist and now you are following a terrorist prophet, you assume right away that the Christian prince is afraid. For now, Kim is in Korea and he joined the religion of the terrorist prophet. Otherwise, why you said, are you scared? Look what your prophet said. I was victorious by terror, between two brackets, this is the Muslim translation, of frightening my enemy from a distance of one month. Do you see how nice your prophet is? One month away, people are terrified because he's a very peaceful prophet. So what, what, uh, what Kim, he said to me in the beginning of the video? What, what? Because I am Muslim, are you in a bad mood? Are you scared? Are you in a bad mood? Are you uncomfortable because I am Muslim? No, no, I think the Korean government will be uncomfortable now and they will be watching you because as we knew, those who convert to Islam, they practice terrorism most of the time. Especially you are a convert because convert, they go into practice of real Islam more than the real Muslims who they are, I mean, the Muslims who they are born of a Muslim family. So maybe you are saying, uh, Korean are worried because now there is one of them he joined Islam and he might do something bad like what your prophet did when he slaughtered more than 900 Jews in a park like this the one behind you huh he gathered one 900 Jews and he killed them all and there was a woman she was laughing because she lost her mind for seeing her family being slaughtered the prophet companion he killed her he put his sword in her stomach. Do you think she was uh, scared? Do you think she was uncomfortable? What do you think it was? The reason for this woman, she's laughing and she was killed. Hmm. Kim. You are a genius. I cannot explain 
how genius you are. Hmm. Tell us more. Or because I'm a Korean. Or because I am a revert. Oh, because I'm a Korean. Suddenly now he would accuse us that we hate Korean, you see? You see how filthy they are? They wanna play the race card. They wanna play he wanna play victim. We ask you questions about Islam. Okay, you became a Muslim. Can you answer those questions? All this drama because you are trying your best to avoid answering the questions. Tell me more. Muslim. Why? Why are you scared? Because I'm a Muslim. Hold on, hold on. Such a music, we need a bad, nice background for it. I mean, we cannot play such a nice song without a real background. Explain Islam very well. I mean, we cannot, uh, we cannot just put, uh, put such a song like this. You know. <clears throat> You know, I mean, hello, how you, uh, why, we, we need a nice background, brother. Uh, brother, I'm not sure what background you want me to show you. Uh, do you want me to show you uh, the followers of Muhammad burning people alive? Or you want me to show you uh, Christians being slaughtered just because they are Christians? Or you want me to show you burning churches and killing Christians? Or you want me to show you... Uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, hanging people from their legs and from their from their neck. I don't know. I'm trying to find a picture which is not too much scary. Uh, but uh, can you find something not really scary? I mean, this is the cult and the garbage of Muhammad. You know. Okay, I will choose something not scary. You know, a brother. And now we can put in the background your music. I don't know which one of them is Kim. Is that Kim? Where is Kim? Kim, uh, Kim is uh, because he's from Korea. He's very good in taking pictures. And uh, Kim, in order to avoid answering the questions about his prophet slaughtering people and killing people with no mercy, he play for us some music. And what the music say? Uh, show us Kim, please. Uh, go ahead, uh, Kim. Play the song for us. Because I have a news for you about this song. I've been waiting. I've been hurting. Because I've been falling. I need your help. Okay, hold on, you're human? Don't you know, Kim, that your prophet, he says, the Christians are animals and Jewish are animals and those who they are not Muslims are animals? So you are saying to us, you are a human, but we are not a human? You want to play victim, but the fact it is Islam who called others animals, cattle, isn't it the Quran says that the Christians, the Jews, non-Muslims, all of them, they are the same as the cattle? In chapter 7, verse number 179. I'm a human. I am hurting. Why you hate me? You made me crying. You made me dying. Why you hate me? You know, Kim, you are joining the terrorist Muhammad and we are the ones hurting you? You are joining a Muslim, uh, sorry, a prophet supposedly, who say Christians and Jews and non-Muslims are pigs and monkeys and they are nudges. And we are the one is hurting you. Tell us more, Kim. I cannot explain how much you are right. I mean, that's it. Everybody now, he knew that you are a victim. Tell us more, Kim. Okay, so I don't want to mention who it is, but I know some people... Christian Prince, Christian Prince, okay. ...will attack me now. Why? Because I'm Muslim. Because I'm Muslim, they mock me, curse me, and insert me. You are a big fat liar. I never curse you. I'm not mocking you. I'm, I'm showing Islam what it is. If this is a mockery for you because you look stupid, I agree. 
you look stupid. What I can do? I cannot make you look smart. So, and where we curse you? In fact, you are the one who curse us five times a day, every time you pray. For those who do not know, when Muslims, they pray, Al-Fatiha, five times a day, they say, oh, please, Allah, don't make us the same as the Christians or the Jews, the, the, the lost Christians and the cursed Jews. This is in chapter one, verse number seven. And you can go or read any interpretation for this verse. It's about the Christians and the Jews. Oh, Allah, don't make us the same as those Christians or those, you know, who they are Jews. Let me show you the interpretation so they will not say we are making things up. So Ken, he joined a religion which cursing Christians and Jews five times a day, and yet he is claiming that the Christians are cursing him. Oh Allah, Allah, don't make us the same like those Jews or those are Christian Allah. Do you see it? This is the Sirah Jalalain. Do you see it? So he joined a religion which is cursing us and he claimed that we are the one who is cursing him. Kim now five times a day he cursed the Christians, he cursed the Jews. He said, Allah, please don't make me like the Christian, the lost Christians, and don't make me the same as the cursed Jews. Hmm? Do you see it? Do you see it? You join a hateful cult and now you are playing victim in order to get support of people because you have no answer. We ask you why. You say, why? Are you scared? Why your prophet want to kill the Christian? Why? Are you scared? Why the prophet, he says, beat your wife? Why? Are you scared? So let us make it simple. If we ask him, the following question and those who will edit the video feel free to edit it in the way you like my first question for you kim why your prophet he order your dad to beat your mom what kim will say in the quran chapter 4 verse number 34 are you scared are you in a bad mood are you uncomfortable because i am muslim if we ask him why your prophet have sex with six years old girl what kim will answer he will give you a very strong answer. Are you scared? Are you in a bad mood? Are you uncomfortable because I am Muslim? If we ask him why your prophet, he said that the three things interrupt a Muslim prayer, a dog and the women and a donkey, what Kim will say? Are you scared? Are you in a bad mood? Are you uncomfortable because I am Muslim? Perfect answer. If we say to Kim, why your prophet he says if i became victorious i will cleanse all the christians and the jews from the arabian peninsula which means i will kill every single one of them what kim will say scared are you in a bad mood are you uncomfortable because i am muslim or if we ask him why the prophet he said that women half have half a brain and most of them they will go to hell he will say are you in a bad mood are, are you scared are you in a bad mood are you uncomfortable because i am muslim if we ask him why you're a prophet he said that in the heaven i will make the private part the penis of kim endless what kim will say are you scared are you in a bad mood are you stop i'm scared i mean you will have an endless penis i mean i cannot even fight with anyone with such a penis man you can hit me from far away even if i live in japan and you live in america it's endless hello are you scared? So if we ask him, why your God, he said, that uh, uh, as an example, uh, uh, you know, I'm not going to talk about ethical stuff. Like it's okay for Muhammad to flirt with his own son in her house when she is married. What the answer of Kim will be? Are you scared? Are you in a bad mood? Are you uncomfortable? Because I am Muslim. Uh, very convincing. I mean, I get all the answers I want. What is left? So if we ask him, I'm just asking you an easy question, by the way, I'm like, I'm not, I'm not making it hard on you, you know. So if we ask him, why the Quran say uh, that the Christians and the Muslims uh, and, and Jews and Hindus, etc., they are nudges, they are unclean, filthy, what Kim will say? Are you scared? Are you in a bad mood? Are you uncomfortable because I am Muslim or because I'm a Korean? Oh, no, the, the Korean away. You have nothing to do with the Korean, my friend. You are an idiot. 
So look at this. The coward, in order to, un to answer anything we say to him, he want to play victim. So we would cry. <laughs> you know, like, okay, but people, they, they are laughing at you. Because we did not threat you, and we will never do that, and we are Christians who Jesus said, say, love your enemy. So for me, I don't hate you, and I will never hate you. I feel sorry for you. You are just a stupid idiot. And because you have no answer, and obviously you converted to religion, you have nothing to do with it, and you have no idea what it teach, and this is why you do not know what to say to me. I mean, at least bring some Muslim with you to help you. Okay, I want you to do this, Kim, if you are really brave, if you know what you are talking about. What about you answer every one of them, and you can contact all those donkeys who they are visiting you from London. As an example, I saw the friend of Mimi Hijab, who don't dare to debate me, next to you in a video. Maybe he can help you, brother. And both of you, you can call me, and maybe Mimi can join your sister Mimi, and you call me live, and we will have a conversation. But none of you can answer. So, you cannot answer, and in order to avoid answering, you play victim. How stupid of you. And then you play music for me, but isn't it your prophet, he said that the one who play music, he will go to hell, and Allah will make him a monkey let me introduce to you mr kim the future monkey <laughs> you are playing for me songs don't you know that your prophet he said that allah will turn you into a monkey and into a pig and is your prophet speaking those who play musical instrument and those who and the, those who have girls are singing anyway if you do any of those Allah will to, to you know will turn you into a monkey and a pig so if we ask him Kim do you agree with the prophet that the one who play music but by this I came by the morning tomorrow we will find all Korean turn into be pigs and monkeys and not only that, all the Indonesian. And not only that, all the Arab. And me too. <laughs> but you know what? Kim, he is the one who have the answer. If we ask Kim, did your prophet say if you play music and a music instrument and do singing, Allah will turn you into a pig and a monkey? Kim, he have the answer. He will say to you. Are you scared? Are you in a bad mood? Are you uncomfortable because I am Muslim? Uh, no, no, I'm not, you know, I'm afraid that because Allah will make you a pig now. I, I want to go and visit Kim at home and I look at the door and instead of finding Kim, I will find a monkey because as I know, you used to sing. And now you are playing the music in the video, which means making it more horrible. And you're a prophet, as you see, he said, those who sing and those who play music, Allah will turn them pigs and monkeys. Nice to meet you, uh, Mr. Kim. By the way, don't forget, please, to prove to us that Muhammad is a true prophet and he is telling the truth. To take a picture before and after, because as you see, until now, we don't believe in this garbage. But if you, my, may, may Allah keep his promises and his prophet said, those who play music and those who do singing, Allah will make them pigs and monkeys. So if Allah is a true God, by the morning tomorrow, you will be a pig or a monkey. Choose one, which are whatever you like. I think maybe you like to be a monkey, you know, because I see you between the trees. So Allah will make you a monkey. You post video on YouTube and say, Alhamdulillah, I became a now a monkey. And this is the proof that the prophet is telling the truth. So why are you playing music for me? Simply because you're an idiot. You do not know what Islam is about. And what this is in the music? Because I'm a human. Do you love me? What is this? You, you did not forget about your previous dream, right? To be a singer where nobody joined your party. So now you think you can do that here? Okay, tell us more. Or because I'm a Korean. Uh, no, 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 hold on. Let's go from where he sat in the, in the seat. Yeah, he sat here in the seat. What do you want to say to us in the seat? Because, you know, people who sit in the seat, usually they speak wisdom. This is the same seat where Buddha, he sat in it. So look, he will speak wisdom now. I'm, I'm sure something new will happen. Okay, so I don't want to mention who it is, but I know some... It's me, it's me, it's okay. You don't even have the courage to say my name. Shame on you. Anyway, it's me, Christian Prince. Go ahead. 
people attack me now. Why? Because I'm Muslim. Because I'm Muslim, they mock me, curse me, and insert me. And they even insert God and Prophet Muhammad. Stop! You see? I, we did not curse, I did not curse you. I did not. You are, you are just a liar. But we are cursing God? And we are cursing, insulting Prophet Muhammad? So you're a prophet. He called us in the Quran. We are nudges. It's okay for you, right? It's okay. Hey, by the way, I saw you. You have a video that says, I gave the Quran to my mother. Did you tell the, your mother that in the Quran, the Quran say that she is najis? Which means she is filthy. She is like the sewage. Chapter 9, verse number 28. Did you, did you show your mom that? Did you show her the picture where it says no go zone? Brother, what is the picture for no go zone? Here we go. Did you, say, did you say to her, because mom, you are filthy according to Islam. So we have a sign in the street of Saudi Arabia. It says only Muslims because this is a holy clean cities. And you, my mother, you are a pig and you are a monkey for Allah. Did you say that to her? I want to give my mom the Quran. Yeah, your mom, she don't understand anything there. So you can fool her, right? Shame on you. Shame on you. And he was speaking, by the way, specifically to the Christians, saying that they are... Uh, actually, we will talk here about, uh, uh, about the hatred. But let us leave this one for the second sentence. Uh, go ahead, Kim. Go ahead. You know, I think this... Uh, this uh, uh, the seat you are sitting in is giving you a lot of wisdom. Okay, continue, brother. This will upon him because I'm Muslim. Why do you? They are insulting the Prophet because you are a Muslim. I mean, do you see the connection, guys? We 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 don't insult the Prophet. We say who he is. Your Prophet is a rapist. He is a killer. He is a child molester. He is a criminal. He is a gang. This is in Islam. I just showed you. He said in the Quran, in the Hadith, "I am being victorious by terror." The Quran says he went to his own house, his own uh, son uh, house, and he flirted with the wife. Okay. Uh, hold on. We have we have someone uh, saying, "Why you are focusing in a young Muslim convert? Focus in the knowledgeable one. We focus on everybody. And what is hurting you? Name for me one name who you claim you call him big. I did not make him shish kebab. Who?" Zakir Naik, you run away from me. Mimi, she, she, became, she became sister Mimi. Who, who, who is the big ones? Give, give, give them to me. <laughs> so look what this Muslim he said to Kim. He gave a message to Kim. He said to Kim, Kim, you are an idiot. And Christian Prince is focusing on you because you sound stupid. Shame on you, true post. You are insulting your brother in Islam, saying that he is stupid, right? You are saying, okay, I'm focusing on him because he's stupid. Well, my friend, no. All of you have no answer. And his stupidity, it's because Islam is stupid. So try something better. Are you scared? Okay. You betray Christian. Why are you on a first way? Why did you fall into Satan's temptation? And they said, why do you use Islam to get money and your fame? Well, did I make such a big mistake because I'm being a Muslim? But I just took this religion to get peace and happiness in my mind. Oh, 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 oh. I mean, this is guys. He took this religion just to get peace. Why? You don't have peace before? You were living in a terrorist country before? Like, you know, yeah. Like, what do you mean you get peace? How you can get peace by following a man, he said, I've been ordered to kill all mankind. All mankind to kill them. Here, the translation they say to fight. Fight here coming from the word uqatil, which means kill. Qatala, yaqtul. I've been ordered to kill all mankind until they say there's no God but Allah and there is no terrorist prophet but Muhammad. So you join this guy who been ordered to kill all mankind to gain peace. You know. What if Jesus said, I've been ordered to kill all mankind until they say Jesus is God? Hmm? He did not say that, right? 
I commanded by Allah to kill all the people until they testify that there is no true God except Allah and no filthy prophet but Muhammad. And Kim, he just answered us. He joined Islam because he want to get peace. And how Kim will get peace now? By killing Christians and Jews and Hindus and Buddhas. Isn't it your prophet order you to do so? In the Quran chapter 9 verse number 29. Kim, you did join the right place. The right religion, brother. Perfect religion. I mean, what do you want more? Religion, all of it about peace and love, saying that there is people who they are not clean just because they are not Muslims. Chapter 9, verse 28. Verse number 29, it says, O Muslims, go and slaughter all the Christians. Unless they pay your money, they can live. <laughs> and you have to insult them and you have to brought law. Do you see it? A Muslim, he have to spit in the face of every Christian when he see in the street. So what came he said to us? He joined Islam because he want to get peace. I think maybe he meant peace of terrorism. Why, why you join Islam? Why? Mistake because I'm being a Muslim. But I just took this religion to get peace and happiness in my mind. But I'm still moved by people because of my choice. For me, this is not a fun thing. No, no, hold. We skip that, huh? We skip that part. But I just took this religion to get peace and happiness in my mind. But right, right. Okay, so Kim, are you going to follow and practice what your prophet order you, or you are just a fake Muslim? Who make an account in YouTube so you can get millions of subscribers and you get tens of thousands of dollars from YouTube because of the view of the Muslims. Which you said in your own video that only 5% they see your video from, from, from Korea. Hmm? Is it this your video here says only 5%? Now let us see. Actually, I will increase the, the, the view of you from Korea, by the way, because everybody will laugh at you. This is your video saying that 5% only from Korea they view you i will make it 100 uh, percent. just wait i mean every single korean will be dying laughing at your lies and as long you join islam because you want to get a piece of peace islam is peace as you know and the quran and the hadith the quran chapter 9 verse 29 says you have to humiliate the christians if you see them in the street and your prophet in the hadith he said If you meet a Christian in the street, you have to spit in his face and force him to walk in the sewage. Is that the peace you are talking about? I want, I want to see, you know, why Muslims don't practice this in Korea? Because they cannot, they are a little tiny minority. There's how many thousand of them? But they did that to us in the Middle East for centuries. Force our grand grand grandfather to walk in the sewage. They torture them. They took their property. They raped their women. This is Islam. Abu Harain reported that the Prophet, may Allah bless him and grant him peace, said, Don't give the people of the book greeting and force them to the north narrow or LA. Actually, translation here is not uh, true. It's true. Let us see a different one. Hmm. Let us see this one. If you meet them in the street, you know, do not initiate salam. Don't say assalamu alaikum, peace to the Christians when you meet them in the road. And if you meet any of them in the road, force them to go to the sewage. The Norway alley, Norway alley here is the open sewage. In the old days, we used to have a sewage open in the street next to the where people walk. So water, dirty water from the houses go out in the street. So a Muslim, a good Muslim is the one who practice Islam. And what Islam teach? If you see a Christian, a Jew, walking in the street, you spit in his face and you force, force him to walk in the sewage. Actually, there's videos in YouTube that explain to you how in the time of, of, of the Caliphate, a Christian, he is not even allowed to ride his donkey facing the street. He have to face the, 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 the back of the donkey. Imagine you are, you are in the top of a donkey, turning your back to the, to, the, to the front of the road. You are not allowed. 
just to humiliate you. And this coward he is saying to you, such a thing. If somebody saying your family being tortured and forced to walk, I'm not talking about my family, I'm talking about history, my friend. Uh, you know, we are the Arab Christians, they took our land, they, they took our, all the big churches in the, the big mosque in the Middle East, they used to be churches. They conquered the land and they made the mosque. And if you don't believe me, go and visit Hagia Sophia. If you don't believe me, go and visit Iraq. If you don't believe me, go and visit Jordan. If you don't believe me, go and visit Syria. If you don't believe me, go and visit Israel. Go, go to Egypt. All the biggest mosques are churches. They force us to leave them and they took our property from us. And then this idiot is playing victim that he is joining the religion of peace. As long as you are a person who joined the religion of peace, what do you think about a peaceful way? The prophet he practiced. I want to show you as an example. Your prophet he used to cut hands and feet and legs. Do you like to practice that? He used to put nails in the eyes of his enemies. The Muslim will say to you, "Oh, those people they killed the shepherd, so the prophet he was punishing them." This is not punishment. This is torture. Kill the one who killed. Why you are putting nails in their eyes? And he not only nails, he hid the nails in fire. Imagine how peaceful. I imagine Kim next to his prophet Muhammad, and he is heating nails and putting it in the eyes of a guy like this, the one in the ground. Do you see him? Kim will do it because he's a good Muslim now. You want to practice Islam? The prophet will teach him. Kim, are you going to say you will never do that? Why? Are you ashamed of your prophet? Kim, do you like to cut hands and legs? What do you think, Kim, about cutting hands and legs? Uh, Kim, come on. If I ask Kim, what do you think about the Quran saying that the punishment for those who do mischievement and don't believe in Islam is to cut their legs and cut their feet? What Kim will say? You say, this is nice. This is peace. I love it. I enjoy watching it. For sure, Kim will enjoy it. Kim, he watched a lot of terrorist movies before, maybe, or maybe horror movies before. And Kim, obviously, he liked horror. This is why he joined Islam. This is the Quran, chapter 5, verse number 33. It says, the only reward for those who make war upon Allah. By the way, how you make war upon Allah? Me right now, I'm making war upon Allah. The punishment of me is cutting my hands, cutting my feet, putting nails in my eyes. This is, you see it? What is the punishment? To cut their hands and feet from each side. Do you see it? Kim, Kim, I'm so happy for you because you did join the religion of Islam, brother. And now Kim, he can start practicing his best dream. Start cutting hands and feet. Kim, do you like Sharia law to be practiced, which is the law of Allah in Korea? So every Friday, Kim, we can see a bunch of people losing their hand and their feet. But remember, if we ask Kim, why your prophet ordered to cut hands and feet, Kim? Kim, he will say. Scared? Are you in a bad mood? What? What, what, what? Are you scared? Are you in a bad mood? Are you uncomfortable because I am Muslim? What about we say because I'm going to cut hands and feet? Anyone who hear this now that you are going to start cutting hands and feet, he will be scared, including your mom. Maybe your mom in the morning she wake up, she find that she have no feet. I forgot that Khaled al Walid, he killed a Muslim and he cooked him. He cooked him. You believe it? I forgot to tell you that the Azhar University, they have a book teaching how to eat a Christian and how to eat an apostate. They say that an apostate is a Muslim who became, uh, who left Islam. Uh, uh, you have to cook him before you eat him. But if he's a Christian, you can, uh, uh, actually, no, sorry. If he is an apostate, you can eat him without cooking him. But if he is a Christian, you have to cook him because he's dirty. Hello? 
What's wrong with you? Mm. And look, guys, look how the Muslims are upset. For me, well, someone saying, "Oh, you are now. We are going to make more people focus on him." Exactly. We want more people to focus in the lies and how Muslim they use such a stupid kid to lie to you. And this is what makes you upset, Mr. Abdul. Shame on you. You have no answer. So, Kim, what else? What else do you want to tell us? After you sit in the chair and you play victim and you play music for us. I like your music, by the way. Are you so angry? But why are you so angry? Why? Did I scare you? See? Or did I threaten you? Uh -huh. I still don't know why you're so... I like it when you jump like a monkey because remember the hadith says those who play music they will turn to be a monkey. So look like you are training yourself. Isn't the hadith says that those who play music Allah will make them pigs and monkeys and you are jumping already mashallah alhamdulillah it's a miracle of Allah already it's, it's happening. Look like it's happening already. Okay, tell us more. So angry, but yeah, I don't want to blame you, and I even don't hate you. I Stop! You don't hate me. Obviously, you are not a Muslim. The Quran said that you should hate every single Christian, and Allah Himself, He have a duty to spread hatred between the Christians. If we ask Him, Him. Why Allah in the Quran, chapter 5, verse 14, said, I will spread hatred and enmity between the Christians until the judgment day. What Kim will say? Are you scared? Are you uncomfortable? Are you worried? Oh, no, you know what? I cannot do it like you, to be honest with you. Huh? I, 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 I can. So, Kim. Your God Allah said he will spread hatred and enmity between the Christians. What is your answer? What is your answer for this? Huh? Uh, tell me, tell me. I threaten you? I still don't know why you're so angry, but yeah, I don't want to blame you. You don't know why I'm so angry, so the Quran says he spread hatred between us Christians, and you don't know why I'm angry? I mean, that's, that makes sense. The Quran says, kill the Christians, kill the Jews, slaughter the Christian, take their women. The Prophet said, if you see Christians spit in his face, the Prophet cut hands, cut feet, the Prophet raped our women, the Prophet, he took, he took a woman, she is married, already married, and he killed the husband, the father, the brother, and he made her walk in the top of the dead family of her own. And then, why are you, are you angry? Are you? And I even don't hate you. Actually, I oh, why? Why you don't hate me? Why? Isn't it the Quran says that you will not find one Muslim who believe in Allah who will not hate or he will be loving to those who they are against Allah? Let us go to the verse. Here you see how those Muslims they try to fool you by playing victims that they are loving you know we are people who believe in love we are people who believe in peace we are people who uh, 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 you know we have a great religion chapter 58 verse number 22 it says you will not find any people who believe in Allah and the last day loving those who resist Allah and his messenger do you see it but the guy in the video he said still I love you you are a fake Muslim, my friend. I'm so happy for you. Kim, he left Islam because obviously, is uh, Kim, he never joined Islam. Kim, he joined to a fantasy to make money from YouTube. He don't really know anything about Islam, obviously. He's a joker. He's an, he, he's an opportunity guy. And he explained himself that he went to Indonesia. He noticed that most of his subscribers, 95% are Indonesian Muslims. So he converted to Islam and here we go. Business is good. What do you think? Isn't this what the Quran says? You will not find a people who believe in Allah and the last day loving those who resist Allah and his messenger. So you came, if you love your mother, according to Islam, you cannot be a Muslim. You are not a Muslim. Look, it says clearly it's about your family, even though they are 
their father. Do you love your father? Kim? Mm -hmm. Come on, Kim, be, be truthful. Do you love your father? Kim, for sure he loves his father, but the Quran says, no, you cannot. Or even if it's your son, or even if it's your brother, which means your sister too, or sister, or your family, or your tribe. Such a thing is not allowed in Islam and not for those who believe in Allah. But Kim, in the video, he's playing victim. He loves us. He's not angry from us. Look at his face. Look how cute he is. Peaceful. Very peaceful. Kim, but, but you see, you are not being honest. You are being literally stupid and we are laughing at you. Because your lies doesn't work with us. You know, your lies can work with those who do not know anything about Islam. But not with someone like me. So what do you mean I don't hate you? When the God of the Quran, chapter 5, verse 14 says, I spread hatred and enmity between the Christians. So what do you say to Allah? Are you going to say to Allah, Allah, you are not God for spreading hate? Are you saying to you, to me that you are better than Allah and you don't hate me? Why Allah, his job? I mean, guys, look at this God. He have nothing to do for living except spreading hate. He is the devil. If we ask him, who is the one who spreads hatred? He will say, Shaitan. Okay, that's a good answer. So why Allah spread hate between the Christians? If this is not shaitan. Is it spreading hate between the Christians? Will make Christians better or worse? And if Kim complaining that there is Christians who hate him, which is not true, that's mean he have to blame Allah because it is Allah who spread hatred between them, as you see. And this is Quran. Kim. Kim. They victim again. But not with me. Honest to God. I will make every single Korean laugh at your conversion. And I want you to stay a Muslim there. Or be because of you, we can give the flu shot for people in Korea and you cannot deceive them. For us, we don't care about you, even though we care for every soul. But you can stay as a Muslim, but we will not allow you to deceive the Christians in Korea, or even the Hindus, or even the Buddhas. Korea is a beautiful country, and we will not allow you to destroy it by lying to them about a filthy, cult, evil, dangerous religion is called Islam. What else you want to tell us? Don't hate you. Yeah, right. Actually, I don't understand why you're so angry. You don't understand. I hope you're happy. I deeply hope that God give you happiness and peace. Uh, uh, okay, we just showed you guys that Allah spread hatred between the Christians and he wished that God would give me happiness and peace. <laughs> tell us more, tell us more. No comment. Because angry life is never... Angry life is never a life. Have you ever seen a Muslim is not angry? I mean, go watch all the Muslim videos. Zakir Naik. Yeah, Zakir Naik. Why the Christians are not equal to Muslims? Brother Fitter, first of all, the Quran said that the Christians are not it. Which means they are dirty and clean. We are najis, we are dirty. And you are saying to me, I don't understand. I know. It is you Muslims who never have happiness. You cannot stay without cursing people. Can I ask you why you are cursing us five times a day when you pray? Oh, I forgot. You are stupid. You are reciting words in Arabic. You do not know what they mean. I got you. It's okay. I will let it go. Happy. What is this? You will play for me music now? We told you music, haram, my friend. You will go, you will make you a monkey. Okay, now. Oh, perfect person. I still make so many mistakes and I regret and reflect too. And that's why I'm still learning. So. What, what, what does that mean? I mean, guys, did we ask him about his mistake? What this guy is talking about? We are asking you questions about the belief you are promoting. You are making videos saying this time is wonderful. So we are asking you how wonderful it is to cut hands. How wonderful it is to stone women to death. How wonderful it is to uh, to cut the head. How wonderful it is to cut the tongue. How wonderful to put nails in the eyes. What's wrong with you? Isn't it Islam wonderful? So tell the Korean the true Islam. Don't lie to them, says beautiful recitation of the Quran. Bring a singer with nice voice. Even if he's singing about a chicken, the song would be nice. I mean, you can blame me, uh -huh. but it's not fair to blame Islam because of my fault. Because people make mistakes. 
Oh, you can't blame Allah for saying kill the Christians. You cannot. You can blame Kim. Because Kim is the one who said that, not Allah. You cannot blame Allah for saying take their women, rape their women, take their money, torture them, split the women to pieces when she's alive, cut the tongue, take eyes. You know, we cannot blame Allah. You, have, you can't blame Kim. I thought we should blame the Jews. Ah, maybe he did not reach that degree yet. But it's not Islam's fault. Right? It's not Islam's fault. It's not Islam's fault when Allah says kill the Christians and force them to pay money and humiliate them. And when the Prophet says, if you see a Christian, don't initiate Salam and force him to walk in the sewage. This is not Islam's fault. This is CNN fault, media, media, propaganda, lies. This all is lies. Okay. I don't want to find this wrong. That's what I want to ask. I mean, please don't play for me this stupid music. Stupid idiot. It's not yours. And I pray and fast for a God who you don't like. But no, 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 no. A God who don't like us. We just showed you that your God, he hate us. You see how you switch things upside down? A God you don't like? It's your God who said all garbage about us. Saying we are animals, saying we are dirty, we are filthy, we are criminals, we are cattle. Cows, we are cows for Allah. It's your God who don't like us. And then you say, but I'm still your neighbor? What? What, what? And I pray and fast for a God who you don't like. But I'm still your neighbor. The Bible says, love your neighbor as yourself. And Stop. The Bible says, love your neighbor as yourself. So you leave. I believe teaching you to love your neighbor. Actually, you are quoting the verse wrongly, my friend. You are an idiot. The Bible says even love your enemy. It means say to you, love your, you know, but I say to you, love your enemy and pray for those who persecute you. So they might, so might you be the son of your father in heaven. Do you see it? It is Jesus who said, love your enemy. So you are following a prophet who says, if you see a Christian or a Jew in the street, spit in his face, force him to walk in the sewage. And now you are quoting a verse from the Bible to convince us to love you, which you do not need to do because we love everybody anyway. We don't hate you. You are just a stupid idiot. And you forgot that you are following a prophet who says totally the opposite. So as long as you are convinced that the Bible is the true and you just admitted that this is the way to be, Love your neighbor, not only your neighbor, I say to you, love your enemy. Not only love your enemy, but pray for those who pray. You see, we pray for Muslims in the, in the church. We pray for them not to die. We pray for them to have health. We pray for them to see the truth. We pray for them to be happy. We pray for them. You are following a guy who cursed the Christian, cursed the Jews. Okay, hold on. You're a prophet when he said I'm going to expel the Christians and the Jews from the Arabian Peninsula. They are his neighbors. Are you going to expel your neighbors who they are Christians from Korea if you take over the country? Or you are better than your prophet? The Messenger of Allah said, If I live, if Allah will, I will expel the Christians and the Jews from the Arabian Peninsula. Those are his neighbors. So you are saying to me, I am still your neighbor. So what happened to Muhammad? What happened to his neighbors? He killed them all. Not a single Saudi Christian exists in Saudi Arabia. Zero. What happened? He killed all of them. He killed all the Christians. He killed all the Jews. And the lucky one who ran away for his life. And came, he says to us, I'm still your neighbor. And the Bible says, love your neighbor. No, my friend, the Bible says even love your enemy. And we don't hate you. You are joining a cult of hate. Faith religion. Who says, I will expel. Imagine, imagine if Muhammad said, I will expel all the Christians from Korea. Are you going to say Muhammad is wrong? Oh, you might say he did not say that. Well, he did. He was living in Arabian Peninsula. He was not living in Korea. So he was, if he was living in Korea, 
He will say that. <laughs> so Kim, everybody will watch those videos will die laughing at your stupidity. And I want people to cut it pieces and make it parts and make a topic, make title. And when you download the video, please don't give the same name I give because that will make them appear in the same page. All of you, you do the same mistake. You download the video, you post it as it is. By doing that, it's going to appear all of them in the same page. This is why I go search the title. I find all the title in one page. Why? Because all of you, you are downloading the video, just posting it as it is. So look at this guy. He's trying to fool us by playing victim, but it doesn't work. He just exposed his prophet and gave us a golden opportunity to show that Muhammad is nothing but a filthy criminal. I am your neighbor. I am an ordinary person. I am a human. I am not the one who scares you. Okay, hold on, Mr. Human. Is it a human to beat a woman? Is it a human to beat a woman? Because I remember, you know, in previous video, this is why you're angry. I asked you a question. You said in a previous video that a Muslim woman, you ask her, why you wear hijab she said oh in islam uh, women she is like a diamond she is what terrorism so i also thought that they are dangerous and strict a lot of time passed actually i was a catholic but i didn't interest in any religion i was just busy at living my life but my bad thinking about islam completely broke down one day in Indonesia. I debuted as a singer in Korea. I was not popular, but still. And luckily, I got a chance to have a promotion in Jakarta. We just showed you that Allah will make you a pig now for doing that. Okay, have fun. Anyway. In Indonesia, I really didn't know that. Actually, two things made me so surprised. First, they were really kind than I expected. And second is that so many girls are covering their faces with bells. I didn't even know the word hijab. And you know, Indonesia is really hot country. So I was so curious. So I asked a girl who wear hijab, why are you wearing scarf on your face? Did someone force you? And he said, I'm a diamond. Incredibly precious. So incredibly so do you think it's a human to force a woman to wear hijab in a very hot country is that a human behavior no secondly as long as she said to you she is a diamond do you beat your diamond kim i asked you before and you are avoiding the answer when you are going to start practicing the quran which is in chapter 4 verse number 34 it says beat your wife are you going to do that or not I think he will, but you need to move to Islamic country so you can practice it. In Korea, they will not allow you to do that, and you will, you know, they will take you to jail. But if you move to Pakistan, brother, or to Saudi Arabia, where Islam is practiced very well, you will enjoy beating your wife, as it says exactly in the Quran. Now, the Quran, by the way, when he says beat your wife, the Muslim they start give you their own uh, uh, fabrication, so they say beat them lightly, etc. All the garbage, but the Quran is of Hadith where it says it clearly that Allah, he ordered the Muslims to beat them heavily. How we knew that? The verse itself. Because the whole idea of the verse is to force the women to obey you. To force her. It's a, it's a terrorist at, at, at act. You know, violent always is terrorism. When somebody uses violent against somebody, is trying to terrify you, force you physically, to be obedient to him so men are protected of women protect uh, sorry the protectors and maintainers of women uh, uh, and as Allah he gave some of them an advantage over others so Allah is the one who made the women that the men are uh, you know an advantage they have uh, uh, they have like a uh, translation here is very weird let me hold on this translation I cannot even understand what he's saying here we go Men are in charge of women because Allah has made one of them excel on the other and because they spend of their property on them. A woman in Islam, she is like a prostitute because you spend money on her, so you have the right to beat her. And good women, she is a, uh, so obedient, guarding to secret of which Allah has guarded uh, as for those who you fear, rebellion. What we do with them? Um, admonish them and punish them in the bed and scourge them. Do you know what scourge them mean? Oh, I am sure uh, Kim do not know. Uh, hold on. This is about dog and the donkey. This is a different one from the one I want to show you. 
Oh, this is a scourging then, brother. So Kim, when you are going to start practicing scourging like in Indonesia, this is in Indonesia, brother. Most of your subscribers are Indonesian. And they are practicing the most priceless teaching of Allah. Scourging women. And as you said, Islam bring a peace of mind to you. It's a peace. And for sure, this woman, she is enjoying the beating. I mean, come on, we have to face it. You see, she is not screaming or she is, by the way, there's many videos about them. Stoning, cutting hands, beating women. I mean, disgusting. And this guy saying to us, Islam, Islam is wonderful. Islam is peace. Islam is amazing. Did you tell your mother that her husband can beat her from now on? Oh, your father, he did not convert to Islam. But he might join you to make business. Or maybe your mother too. I'm not saying they will do that. I hope not. But it's possible. Shaitan is tempting people to do things. So what are you talking about? Hmm? Women are diamond. Do you do this? And if you have a diamond, you let it shine. You don't cover it. And what kind of a diamond she is? I mean, this this is actually an insult to women because a woman she is a diamond. If she is, she is, she is that means she we can buy her. She is for sale. She is just a stone. And this is exactly how Islam see the women. She is just a stone. She is a sex toy. This is why in the heaven Allah did not promise women anything except being in heaven. But there will be there will be sex toys for men. Kim shame on you did you tell your mother that she is half a brain did you tell your mother that the three things will interrupt a muslim prayer a dog and a donkey and the women i wonder if you say that to your mom what your mom she will say I hope my our broadcast is doing fine. Yeah, it looks like we lost a little bit, but it's working. Did you say to your mother the truth? That women are donkey, equal to donkeys, equal to dogs? Did you tell to your mother that in Islam, just because you are a black color, so you are evil? As an example, your prophet, he says, the black dog is the devil. Is that true, brother? Do you have any black dog before? It says, they asked the prophet, okay, a man, a woman, and a donkey, and a dog will disturb a Muslim prayer. He said, oh, oh okay. Well, they asked him, why, why a black dog? He says, because the black dog is shaitan. Brother, it's true. According to science, they found that black dogs are shaitan. There is a scientist, his name, Kim Ong In Chong Kim Cha Hong from Norway. He discovered that the black dog is shaitan. Are you going to practice the superstition, evil, racist, filthy, cult teaching of Allah and say to your mother that you are a dog? You are equal to a dog and a donkey? And you are equal to a black dog? And if you walk next to me when I'm praying, that will disturb my prayer and will destroy it? Ah, I don't want to forget. Did you tell your mother that according to Islam, we can have sex with the children at the age of six? Maybe you have a cousin, she is in the age of six. Are you thinking about her now? Because it's what the Prophet did. You marry her at the age of six and you have intercourse at the age of nine, alhamdulillah. Did you tell your mom that? Mm. so Kim is a joker he joined Islam a religion of a prophet who said the one who changed his religion kill him the funny a Muslim he posted in a comment underneath of his video saying how come people they are free to be gay free etc the second he became a Muslim everybody complained uh, ask your prophet 
how come he cannot leave Islam and now the punishment he came do you know that if you leave Islam the Muslims the peaceful Muslims they will kill you as you see this your prophet is that Sahih it is Sahih is that authentic it is authentic is it Sahih it is Sahih the one who leave Islam kill him brother I joined the religion of peace brother Everything Mr. Kim turned to be true. He did not lie. He did not lie saying that Islam ordered him to love the Christians and the Jews. Look, yes, he did not lie. But the Prophet says, don't salute the Christians. Don't say peace. Force them to walk in the sewage. The Prophet, he says, kill them wherever you find them. Force them to pay jizya. Kim, he did not lie. It's us. We did lie. What else, Kim? You are disgusting. You are disgusting with your lies, not, you know. And else. I'm not the one who wanna attack you. No, it's not you, it's your prophet. As you see, he wanna cut my hands, he wanna cut my feet, he wanna cut my tongue, he wanna, he wanna he muted me, he wanna kill my family, he wanna rape my daughter. It's not you, you idiot. I'm not a monster and I am not a terrorist. You are not a terrorist, that's wonderful, but your prophet is. Idiot, and he is a monster too. A person who sleep with six years old girl, he is a monster. A person who says I've been victorious by terror from a distance of one month, he is a monster. So how come you are following Muhammad, but you are not a monster? What's wrong with you? If I say to you now, someone he have sex with the, someone in the age of six or nine, aren't you going to say he is a monster? But you are a coward. You will never do dare to say that anymore now. I am just a person who wants love and peace. Peace. You see, you don't know how to say peace. I, it's okay. I understand. Me, myself, I make mistakes in English. It's not peace. Peace. And as long as you mention, you said, I am a person who loves peace. I agree with it. Because in Islam, you have to love peace. Isn't it the Prophet who order you to drink peace? And I'm serious. I'm not joking. Hmm? Isn't it this is your prophet? He ordered the Muslims to drink the milk of the camel and the piss of the camel. You see, I understand you said the word piss in mistake that you love piss, but literally you do now because simply you have to obey your prophet and you have to drink the camel milk and the camel urine and the muslim they put between two uh, bracket as a medicine <laughs> kim from now on if you get sick brother uh, don't go to the hospital just to drink camel urine and by the way i saw muslims right now they are promoting and the price of camel urine in turkey is 50 dollar for a little cup camel urine is the way to deal now with your disease let me show you uh camel <laughs> the BBC actually they have a study about it I mean uh, uh, like a, uh, a report about it and how the price of camel urine is going skyrocketing all right here we go the Iranian Islamic medicine specialist says camel urine can stop coronavirus drink caron uh, camel urine to cure coronavirus <laughs> but the world health organization says that the one who told you to drink camel urine is an idiot you will die kim for me you are like a chicken who say bak, 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 but there is no eggs and now everybody is laughing at you I want and please if you are a Korean anyone watch these videos or the videos you will see in the future if you are a Korean please add translation in the Korean language we want the Korean to see the truth so this idiot will not lie to the Korean and fool them it's your duty to save your country I cannot do it I do my part if you are a Korean and you are listening, 
you have a duty to translate those videos and post them everywhere you can get them pieces you can make it short as you wish but you have to do it all right otherwise the muslims will take your sons from you by lying to them as you see everything that he's saying is based on lies and as you see we are showing you the evidence one by one in the screen And playing victim, Kim, will not help you. You just made us laugh at your lies saying, I am a Muslim who is about peace. When Islam says in the Quran, cry not for peace. Be happy. And that's what Islam teach me. Let's love and peace. This is what Islam teach you? Let us love? Isn't it the Quran says? I mean, look at the music in the back just to, to lie to us, to fool us. In the Quran, it says, chapter 5, verse number 51. Take not Christians and Jews as a friends, you, you idiot. Is that your Quran? So let us love. Let us be peaceful. Let us love each other. That's wonderful. That's Christian teaching, not Islam teaching. But the Quran says, take not Christians and Jews as a friends. And you in your video, you, you liar, you, you idiot. You are saying to us, let us love each other. You are talking to who? You are talking to us? Are you serious? So what we will do with the Quran? Are we burn it? Are you going to burn the Quran? But I also have my right to be happy and I have right to practice my religion. I yeah, but practicing your religion is mean it's mean to kill the Christians or kill the Jews, to have sex with the children and to cut hands, to cut feet, to stone women, to beat your wife and to rape Christian women and do all the ugly stuff. No, you have no right to practice your religion. Because as you see, your religion is not about your rights, it's about our rights. Because your religion will strip every one of us from his right to be live as a human in peace. So shame on you to say, I want to practice my religion. And then you say, I wish your peace. I wish your peace again. I wish your peace. How you wish me peace when the, when the Quran says, take not Christian and Jews as a friends? Why you are having double standard? So which Islam is the true Islam? The Islam is in the Quran or the Islam in the video of Kim? I will leave that for you, all of you. You make a decision, you decide. Which one is telling the truth? The Quran, Muhammad or Kim? Because obviously the Quran and Muhammad, they don't match what this kid he say. I don't blame him, he's just a kid. But in the same time, I will not allow a kid to deceive our kids. And if you are a Christian and you care to protect your kids from what happened to this guy, please download these videos, translate to all languages you speak. This is a duty for you. If you think that will not happen to your child, look what happened to this child. Poor kid. Because his parents did not teach him Maybe he's, he grow in a society, he love money, he don't care how to make it. Uh, uh, I don't know. But he is a victim for sure. I am not against him. I have nothing to do with him. I will do my best to save him. And actually, I pray for him to see the truth. And the truth will set him free. But Kim, shame on you. Lying to yourself, lying to others, lying to your mom, lying to your father, lying to your friends, lying to the, the, the Korean, saying things does not exist in the Quran. At least you want to be a Muslim, at least be truthful. And read for them, say, hey, I want to show you the Quran says from now on we cannot be friends. Why you don't do that? Because you are a fraud. Why you don't show them the Quran? Is that a teaching you don't agree with? So what do you agree with? I will be waiting to see how many of you will translate those videos to all languages. I did my part. God knows how, what I am doing, trying my best to fight this cult. But I cannot do it alone. God knows how I'm able today to do my broadcast. Until now, they did not fix my internet. My internet is still horrible. I'm waiting. It might, it might take three weeks because they said they need to change the whole cable in the street imagine so I'm doing everything I can and we need always to protect the truth 
It's not about this kid. It's about all the kids. It's about the safety of the world. This is a faith religion, as you see. Why, why a Muslim cannot be my friend? I don't have a problem to have him as a friend. No, for Allah is the devil. And if we became a friends, we will not kill each other. As simple as that. So Allah will not allow that. So he said to the Muslims, never take them as a friends. For they are friends to each other. And if a Muslim, he says to you, I'm your friend. If he mean it, that's mean he is not a Muslim. As you see, he among you who take them as a friend, he is one of them. Which means he is a Christian. So if Kim... He is a truthful and he have a Christian friends and he mean to be a friend for them according to the Quran Kim left Islam this is how evil your cult my friend take not Christians and Jews as a friend I have no problem to have a friend he's an atheist he's a Hindu he's a Muslim he's but now because of Islam I know Islam teach that Muslim cannot take me as a friend so I cannot trust a Muslim a friend why because I know he will not accept to take me as a friend, even if he says so. Because imagine how the Quran, how evil it is. If you go to chapter 3, verse number 28. And by the way, here, this is chapter 4, verse number six, uh, 65. I was going to talk about it. We're speaking about having sex and marrying and divorcing children who did not reach the age of having menstruation. It says here, because of their young age, imagine. This is a different topic, but just I remember it. In chapter 3, verse number 28, it says that a Muslim, he can lie to you, say to you that he is your friend, but in his heart, he is not. Therefore, a Muslim, he can lie as long his heart is different from what he say. Which means, he can say to you, I am your friend, but as long he don't mean it. And read. This is the interpretation of the cousin of the prophet, the filthy prophet. He said that a Muslim cannot, a believer cannot take non-believer as a friend. However, the one who take the, they call us the hypocrite, we are the hypocrite. And the disbelievers as a friend, he has no connection with Allah. He has no honor, which means Muslim can rape him, can kill him, can rape his wife. No mercy, no protection. Muslim can crucify him, can cut his hand for he taking the Christians as a friend. From Allah, unless it be that yet you guard yourself against them, save yourself from them, taking it as a weird security, saving yourself from them by speaking a friendly way toward them while your heart is like this. Have you ever heard of an evil more than this? Teaching people to say, I love you, but in his heart he hate you. The Muslim, they will say to you, oh, this is about wartime. In wartime, don't you lie to protect your, 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 your family? Liars. As you see, those they want to take me my friend as a friend. What war time? You see how stupid they are, even when they give excuse. If somebody want to take me as a friend, so how he is my in, 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 how I am, am in war with him? You, you see the lie? They say this is what? Okay, if you are in war with somebody and you want to, you know, they capture you, don't you lie to protect yourself? This is not about this. This is about take not as a friends, as a friends. Somebody in war with you, he will be. He want to be your friend. So let the let, let the let the Muslim not to take the hypocrite and the disbelievers as a friends. So what the problem? Taking them as a friends. So if they are enemy, really fighting you by war, they will not try to take you as a friend. They will try to kill you. Are you scared? Are you in a bad mood? Are you uncomfortable? Uh, they expose the lies of Muhammad and learn how to be tough on this cult and tough mean to be bold to say it as it is not as they want not politically correct being politically, politically correct is an illness is a weakness if somebody is hiding something even forced to say something. So if you are a Christian, say things as it is. Yes, we love the Muslims. It doesn't mean we will let the Muslim die and go to hell. Loving the Muslims is saving the Muslims. 
is not the opposite. So when somebody he says to you, uh, that you are spinning your root, this is not how a Christian should be speaking. A true Christian is the one who say things as it is, and that will make it true for sure.